The land within Taranaki is extremely fertile. Kiana he momona, rich volcanic soils. Most things will flourish within these conditions. Gardening was one of the main activities of Taranaki through that period. They developed economic base by selling the kai that they produced. And Pākehā coming into the regions could look upon the soil and quickly realise the fertility of this region. They planted kumara, taiwa, pumpkins and wheat. And they traded those crops with the settlement in New Plymouth. The Pākehā were looking towards the land that was accessible to Māori and the developments that were taking place. And the tension rose. They cultivated in an area with a river delta at the mouth of Waitara River, which was their main expressway heading inland. They could carry their kai on waka right up the river. The Waitara dispute is really about two different understandings of how Māori and Pākehā should live together. On the one hand, the Crown is in charge and by implication settlers are as well and that conforms with their notions that they are superior to Māori because that's what a lot of Pākehā firmly believe. But that doesn't accord with the reality on the ground where Māori are still incredibly powerful and in many ways dominating the economy and in charge of their own affairs.